What is ANCAP? What does it mean to you as a buyer and what does it mean to car companies? What does it mean to your family's safety? What does it mean to the people that you love? Put simply, ANCAP is an oversimplified way of representing how safe a car is by using five stars. And when I say oversimplified, I mean it's an incredibly complex process. Each test costs $490,000 plus five cars. Five cars. So that means if you're testing a Rolls Royce, for example, that's five million plus 490,000. No wonder they're not tested all that often. There's a few important changes, mainly the fact that now date stamps have been introduced. So every single test that's been done is date stamped. The reason that six year date stamps are important is that the biggest percentage of buyers by far are business buyers. That includes car rentals, government departments, and business fleets. And most of those businesses have a five star rating requirement. Moreover, now that there are date stamps, the date stamp can't be more than three years old. So if there's a car on the market that a manufacturer is putting out there for fleet buyers to buy, and they rely on those fleet buyers, they're going to have to retest it every three years if they want to remain in the race. Because of OH&S, the car is deemed a workplace, not just for sales reps and delivery drivers, but doctors and nurses going from one place to the other. Anyone that drives a car during working hours to get to their job, to get to the next workplace, to get the next appointment, their car is deemed a workplace. The next question is, why are ratings so important? And that's really, really simple. There's a current crash awareness program from ANCAP airing on commercial TV, and it's got two Corollas being crashed into each other. One is 20 years old, it's a 1998, 99 model or thereabouts. The other one is a 2015. They're crashed into each other at the normal crash speed, which is about 60 kilometers an hour. Here's a little bit of the footage now. The dark colored car crashes into the light colored car and you can see that it is utterly demolished. Footage inside shows that no occupants in that car would probably have survived. Their injuries would have been catastrophic. Whereas in the white car, they'd have survived. In fact, they may not even have been injured beyond a few bumps and bruises. That ad was created at this very crash lab. But those crash tests can be repeated and repeated and repeated. So every crash test that's done is done to the same criteria. Crashes are assessed on what ANCAP calls four pillars. Adult occupant protection, child occupant protection, vulnerable road user protection, so pedestrians, cyclists and so forth, and safety assist. Some of those things you must have in order to have five stars. For example, in 2018, Autonomous Emergency Braking, or AEB, that was moved into adult protection. And so if you don't have that, you won't get five stars. And they're also moving some of the assistance protocols in, in years to come. Next year, for example, you'll require things like active lane guidance, etc., etc. Active cruise control is also considered a safety feature. Significantly, that means cars with hydraulic steering won't be able to get five stars at some stage in the future because you need computer-driven electric power steering in order for that to happen. And so why is this important? Well, for several reasons. Cars can perform very, very, very badly. In fact, Jeep Wrangler was tested and scored just one star. And one of the main reasons that happened is it had catastrophic cabin failure. It's floor ripped to pieces. Would you want to put someone you love and you care for in a cabin that rips to pieces and they probably wouldn't survive in? I know I certainly wouldn't. Australia's most popular car at the moment, the top seller is Toyota's Hilux. It has a 2011 date stamp, so it's well and truly out of date. Any businesses that require that three year limit on a five star rating won't be able to buy a Hilux. So it's safe to assume that Hilux will do things like add autonomous emergency braking as Ford Ranger has, and active lane control, etc., etc. They'll need to put electric power steering in it and they'll need to bring it up to par. 
They'll also need to retest it, which means $490,000 in five cars. There will also be further changes in 2020. Some of the tests will be done slightly differently and some of the requirements for a five-star rating will also change, as I've said. Some of the other things that will be required for five stars are AUB in reverse and at junction crossings and emergency steering, whiplash protection, rescue extrication and safety and driver monitoring. All of that is designed to keep the passengers safe but also the people around the car. Keep watching for future changes in ANCAP.